Hi, this is Dr. Nat Pernick, the president and founder of pathologyoutlines.com with our year-end summary of the changes we've made this year and how you can be the best pathologist that you can be. First, for our header, which is pretty much on every page, we've added drop-downs. The most important is probably a textbook drop-down there's two levels, subspecialty, and then each chapter in that subspecialty. So you can access any chapter of the textbook from pretty much any page. We also have drop downs for some of the features of the author pages and for the directory. That brings us to the directory. This is something new, a directory of every pathologist on the planet. It's a very ambitious task. Uh, right now we have profiles, which are basically web pages, for about 15% of the pathologists in the U.S. and our goal is 50% by the summer of 2022. If you're not on there now and you want to be, you can sign up, go to the directory page and the instructions are in the blue box. What the directory will do will be to enable you to learn very quickly about any pathologist, not only to see what they look like and see what institution they're at right now, but also what their favorite image is, if they have words of wisdom for the pathology community, secrets of success, what their research interests are, and fun facts. And of course, you can add this kind of information about yourself. So every month we're adding a thousand profiles, we're getting there. The next thing is our jobs page. So we added a graph of how many jobs there are per day. What we did not expect is an explosion of jobs. We now have over 700 job ads on our website and the increase has continued through the end of the year. We've also made changes for our editorial board. First, we have a new editor-in-chief, Dr. Raul Gonzalez from Harvard. We have more deputy editors, one for pretty much each subspecialty, and we have more editorial board members, totaling more than 40. We have come up with a strategy for updating our textbook, which has almost 5,000 topics. We want to focus on the most popular topics, those with 10,000 or more page views a year, and we've assigned those, and a majority of those are now completed, and the rest are in the works. And overall, up to 25% of our topics are up to date. For next year, uh, in 2022, our priorities are to update all topics with 5,000 page views a year, also all pending topics, we want those to be written, and any others that our editorial board thinks are priorities. Our staff is increasing. We are in the midst of hiring staff number 21, a medical copy editor who will help improve the quality of the textbook. And we also anticipate hiring some more people to help with the directory as it becomes more popular to add directory profiles and to update those profiles when people move or otherwise have changes. We also are continuing our very popular What's New in Pathology newsletter. It's all digital. We're not handing out paper copies anymore. We've done one What's New in Molecular and we have a couple more that will come out at the beginning of the year and then What's New in different subspecialties based on some of the new WHO classification books that are coming out. We're continuing our popular case of the month and our popular image quizzes, which has a short question comparable to a board review style question. We have some new features for our website. First is CCN, our Curing Cancer Network, and this is a strategic plan that I've developed to help substantially reduce cancer deaths. We have a newsletter that goes out every one to two months and a page that discusses some of our ideas, and this is updated regularly. We also have a quarterly pathology crossword puzzle, which we just started, which adds a little fun to the website. And for charity, we've started a pandemic music relief award for this past year for all the musicians who couldn't really do gigs because nobody was doing any performances. And so we help to publicize their work and give them a stipend to help them get through. We've added a couple new chapters, cytopathology. Some of it is new content and some of it is content from cervix or breast that relates to cytology. And we've also got a molecular chapter. Some of that used to be in the stains chapter, but we've separated it out. We're focusing just on molecular aspects of HER2 and some other uh, common molecular alterations. 
Overall, we had a great year. We'd like to thank our advertisers for supporting our big staff and making the website possible. We'd like to thank our 300 plus authors that we have at any one time. Also, of course, our editorial board, our staff, and finally you, the visitors, for supporting us and for giving us feedback on how we can make the website better. Of course, at any time, please feel free to contact me at nat at pathologyoutlines.com with your comments or suggestions. Best wishes to all of you for a healthy and happy new year.